Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a review on some nippers I got here. Here I got my, actually my first pair of nippers ever. Some Tamiya. And then of course the God Hands here. We're going to find out if these are really worth the money because they are pretty pricey. These run about $50 or so depending on where you find them. The Tamiya's here, they've been pretty good to me. I've had them about three months around about. And these cost me $20.25 if I remember correctly. Like I said, these were my first ones, and they're only, I think, $10 is what I paid for these at the local hobby shop. But I got also three identical pieces here. We're going to cut these nubs off and see how they look in the end. And see if these are actually kind of worth the money or not. Alright, to get things started, we'll of course start with these here, my first set of nippers. Like I said, these were only about $8, $10 or so. So we'll clip these off this piece right here. See how clean this does. Get these off real quick. And... Right, on this one here, as you can see, hopefully. Let me get a good look at these. You see that white there where it kind of cut in there and messed that edge up. This one here is not so bad, actually. Being up close for a cheap pair of nips. You can see here, hopefully I can see pretty well, that right there, and that's right up against the plastic, so that's about as best as it could got get on that. Now let's check out the Tamiya's here and see how they do. Like I said, these were about $20, $25, having about three months, so these are actually probably pretty dull by now. I've had them for quite a while. But let's see here. Get right up on in here. Get off there. Alright, let's see if we get a little comparison here. Find the same spots. Get that fuzz off of there. I don't know how well you can see the detail. There is still some whiting here from the cut, but a lot less than there is here. And this one is a lot smoother and flush with the with the piece here itself. Of course, obviously, the Tamiya's did better, and like I said, those are those have been used quite a bit, but pretty rough there. And that's pretty decent right there. Hopefully that comes through pretty good on the camera. But it's pretty, pretty smooth and flush, a little bit of stress mark there. See And here's not too bad, but now we'll give these suckers a try. See how these turn out. This one looks like it's already kind of bent and broke off, so I won't count that one so much. That one's already kind of tweaked off there, so that wouldn't be a fair comparison. Now, these are single blade cutters. It's got basically a flat edge on one of them, so that's what the blade actually hits up against there. Both of these are two-bladed nippers. As you can see right there, let me grab this piece here, the Tamiya. See, yeah. There is a bit more widening. See if I can kind of, you can feel a bit there of roughness with my nail scratching across it. And these, don't really see any widening on there. Very clean cut. Very nice, really. And these here on the top. Which one was it? I think it was that one that was already messed up, so we won't compare that one. That one doesn't count. And I think there was a little bit of whiting there from the molding. But still, very nice clean cut, but the Tamiya looks pretty clean as well. Oh, these parts actually go together. Ah, I knew that. So why don't we just squish them together and take a look? Not too bad, really, on either one of them. That's the one I'm not going to compare. Okay. Where'd the other one go? Oh, right here on the front. And the Tamiya is this one right here on the side. And the. Other one, the God Hands, it's very clean cut. Now, I think before we call it wraps on this, we're going to do another color and see how it turns out. Alright, we'll do like we did just a moment ago. Kind of get up nice and close here. Try and get rid of these nubs. Let 
lined up straight there. And I think this blue might kind of be a little more telling for us. So that's the Tamiya Nippers right there. Go over the God Hands again. Get a cut. There we go. All right, so God hands here, Tamiya here. Now you can definitely tell a difference on these right here. A little rougher feeling. Yeah, definitely rougher. Looks rougher. A lot more white showing there. Check the back of the heel here. About the same as these two here on the side. Yeah. Much smoother cut there. Probably could have got a little closer with them. It's kind of hard to make a good cut when you're behind a camera. And right there, got a little bit of white stressing there. Not much at all. Might have been the way I was holding them. But very smooth looking cut. A lot better than to me is actually on this different color. Well, it all comes down to the big question. Are they worth the price tag for you? Well, honestly, if you're a straight builder, you snap them together, put them on your shelf and have them looking good. This would be pretty nice for you, really. Nice, clean, smooth cuts. Very little in the cleanup, if any. And they'll save you the trouble of like, getting balancers and different sanding techniques or whatever to try and get the plastic to match where you cleaned up the nub to match the rest of it if you're not going to be painting it. So, I think for... That's not the right one. I think for snap builders, I think these would be a great thing. Now, for people like me that paint mod and everything else like that they do seem like they help clean uh, help on the cleanup on nubs pretty quick a little bit i played with them i've made the cuts and just a couple of passes with my file and the, that was it pretty much so they will seem to help on time on that fact but also with these for half the price around about just a little extra filing and cleaning up and they're going to be sanded completely anyways before they're painted so it's just a question of whether it saves you enough time and trouble in the end if it's worth it for you if you're modding and painting. But snap builders, if you want to pick these up, I think it'd be great for you. I mean, another point actually is, for anybody actually, is the profile. They're much thinner, much smaller blades, which is also why they're much more dip, uh, delicate. And you don't want to be making big cuts with these. You want to use something like the Tamiya's. Or these to make your big cuts, like getting all the parts off the runners and such. And then do your delicate cleanup work with these. So, but in that fact, they're very maneuverable. You can get just about anywhere you need to in little tight spots. And they are very comfortable. They're very smooth action. Much smoother than my Tamiya's. And my Tamiya's actually kind of feel awkward in my hand a little bit. They work just fine for me, but they are a little awkward. They're, I guess, a bit smaller. Doesn't exactly seem like it. They are a bit shorter, it looks like. About a centimeter roundabout. But in my hand, these are very comfortable. And thinking about it, you know, doing long sessions of cutting and everything like that, especially a little tedious cleanup work, this might save you quite a bit of hand fatigue. And I busted all the bones and broke all them across my hand about two years ago, so my hand can get... Starts hurting pretty easily if I'm not careful. So, I guess probably later on I'll have to do a long-term update review on these for everybody. But I say right now, they are pretty nice. They do what they do. I'm going to put them to good use. But the, whether or not they're worth the money is up to you. All I can do is kind of show you what they're capable of and go from there. But guys, thanks for joining me. Hopefully this is a little uh, informative for you, help you on a buying choice on these. But in the end, it's all up to you guys. Y'all take it easy and I'll see y'all in the next